While players level up, they unlock different new options. Some of these are very useful and I was surprised that in Alpha some players missed these benefits until someone pointed that out to them. First of all, players start with only one out of three weapon slots, two out of four quick slots that are used for potions and food, one out of three jewelry slots and one out of three bag slots. And bags will increase your carrying capacity. So make sure that you equip any satchel that you can afford or even craft one yourself as soon as possible as extra carrying capacity means less running back and forth. Also, players start with tier 1 camp and that will level up with players as well. Tier 2 will unlock at level 15, tier 3 at level 20, tier 4 at level 35 and tier 5 at level 50. I didn't use camp much personally as you can craft at any settlement's crafting table anyway. Just depends what tier workstations are available there, as using highest tier resources require highest tier crafting and refining stations. But probably the most important part of leveling process is to unlock higher tier armor and weapons. When players start, they can use only up to tier 2 armor and weapons. Tier 3 opens when players reach level 20, tier 4 at level 35 and highest tier 5 armor and weapons players will unlock at level 50. And there is huge difference between tier 4 and 5, it makes your life so much easier. Plus, the same requirements apply to harvesting, skinning, mining and logging tools. You can only use tier 5 pickaxe after reaching level 50. And let me tell you that mining and harvesting with low level tools is pure waste of time. Tier 1 tool has gathering speed of 100, tier 4 400 and tier 5 tools can go as high as almost 1000. The difference is obvious, a lot of save time, add here possibility of having plus 30% extra resource gain perk on your tool and you will never ever mine or harvest with low level tools ever again. But let's get back to milestones. The second jewelry slot will open at level 10 and that is ring slot. Then at level 20 you finally will be able to use earrings. Every jewelry can have up to 5 points of attributes. But same level requirements applies as for armors and weapons, so only at level 50 you can equip tier 5 jewelry. That will provide with 5 extra points of attributes each. And attributes are core stats for your character directly responsible for your health pool, ability cooldown time and different weapon damage. If you want to learn more about each attribute and its effects on weapons, check my video on that topic. Third quick slot will unlock at level 15 and last one at level 45. Those are very useful also because anything you place there is taken out of your carrying capacity and full stock of potions or food is quite heavy. At level 5 you will unlock second weapon slot and at level 30 finally players can have 3 weapons equipped and switch between them on the fly. Don't even have to say anything here, the benefit of having 3 weapons is great. Plus, every weapon can have gem socket and all three weapons count, so even more extra attribute points. Plus, you most likely will want to use life staff's speed of light ability to teleport short distances, as now you don't need to sacrifice primary or secondary weapon just for that. And leveling up your life staff is much easier from level 50 or even level 35 compared to early game. Killing level 20 30 enemies, even with completely unskilled staff, is easy and you can take some punishment now. Another big game changer is unlocked at level 30 when players unlock second bag. And finally at level 45, players can use 3 bags. Just imagine that you start with carrying capacity of 200, but can increase it to above 1000 easily, but only when you reach level 50 and can equip 3 tier 5 satchels. That will help gathering different materials so much. But it will cause a huge storage problem, as by default storage space in settlements is only 1000. And you can now carry more than you can store. So players will be forced to keep only what they really need. There is simply no space to store all crabs that you pick up along your journey. Good news is that you can increase your storage space by owning a house and placing chests there. Or through territory standings. If you want to learn more, check my videos about player housing and territory standings. Just remember everything is subject to change and if you like this video, you know what to do. Also link to my discord is down below. Feel free to jump in and say hi or ask me any questions. That's it for now, Eternum awaits you.